Today we're in La Loma QC. I wonder why this became like the Chinatown of QC. Oh my god, it's definitely not me. It's really good. Ah, oh, that's the song. I know this flavor. Hey guys, it's Jessica here, and welcome back to another episode of Favorito. Today we're in La Loma QC. I just know La Loma is famous for lechon So that's what I'm expecting today Because lechon is actually one of my favorite Filipino food Like when Koreans ask me Oh what's like top Filipino food I'll say lechon La Loma is a different Yeah because it's parang binondo There's a lot of Chinese letters in the restaurants And I don't know, there are a lot of Chinese people Lechon, Chinese food. In Binondo, there are a lot of good Chinese food. So let's see if the food here is as good as there or better. So guys, this time, my goal is to really find the favorito. Let's go. I wonder why this place in QC became like the Chinatown of QC. David's Tea House, Dim Sum, Banawe Street is where we are at right now. Hello, Pa. Can I ask you a little question? Do you guys eat a lot in uh, this area? Not most of the time. Because I'm looking for pinaka masarap na pagkain sa this area. Yeah. Try Causeway. What do they have there? Filipino fruits and Filipino food. Chinese. Chinese food. Yeah. How many times have you been there? Once only. Uh, once once last. Time. Do you have any place you've been more than twice? Not really. the area? This is like China here. It's all Chinese food. Can I ask you a question? Oh, okay. Please help me! Fixing the air fun. Yes. Oh. Especially at a time like this, proper time. Oh yeah, you have to fix, diba? Right? Yes. Yeah, the water? Yeah. Yeah. Can you ask me? Because there are many restaurants here, Kuya. Do you know any favorite mo, Kuya? The favorite food place here. At Harvester. At Harvester. What are the food there? Chow Pao. Chow Pao. Gulay. Gulay. But it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. How many times do you go there? I don't know how many times do you go there. Okay. What are the favorite food there? Pansi. And then? There are the gulay. You can eat carne, but it's gulay. Oh, really? Guys, I love vegetarian food. So, what's your name? Harvester. Alright guys, so that's our vegetarian Filipino food. Yeah, it doesn't look vegetarian guys. And then they also gave me this to sprinkle on top of the rice. And guys, this place, I feel like I have to be quiet because everyone here is quiet. The people here are mostly senior citizens. And then there's also a grocery shop. So I think people come here to shop Chinese foods. A lot of Lolos and Lolas are vegetarian. So I'm very excited because usually the Lolos and Lolas know the best food, right? Did I put a lot? Okay, I want to try the barbecue first. Veggie meat, guys. Veggie meat. Oh, gluten? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. So I'm being treated like a granddaughter who visited their home in a while right now because they just gave me free drink and free soup. Definitely not me. I know this flavor. I forgot the name of the food, but in Korea, we have a traditional dessert that tastes exactly like this. It's like parang flour, something chewy. The texture of this is really parang when you fry something with a frying batter, the outer part, right? That one, but a bit more chewy. They put cinnamon and sugar in here. It reminds me of the banana turon we had in Espanya. Uh -huh. Really loved their banana ruma, so I wanted to try it again. For real. Like, I'm just shocked. It tastes like turon. It tastes like turon, right? It tastes like turon. Oh my god, grabe. Thank you. My chopstick pa. When I think of gulama, I thought it's like black juice and it tastes like banana. This one, it's a different juice. This one, the juice is tropical, like four seasons flavor and then just the gulama. I like this way better. This one looks really like meat. Yeah, look at that. It's really like meat. Okay, here you go. It smells like bean. Very interesting right now, guys. All the food here. I'm really getting shocked right now because like how they look looks so familiar, but the name is like so different. 
It tastes like soy milk. Like soy milk jerky. So I can taste that this one has a lot of protein. But because the soy meat, it's too strong soy flavor. That's why I can't feel the caldereta flavor. But I like it. It's its own dish. And what I love about this is it's not salty. Now they're pancit. Pancit should taste like pancit because there's no meat in it. All the food here is really out of your expectation, guys. This one, <laughs> it's so unexpected, the flavor. They put a lot of mushroom in it instead of like the meat. So that's why it tastes like mushroom pancit canton. Very strong mushroom. It's very healthy. I'm just like happy that I found a vegetarian place. <laughs> I never tried this food. This one tastes like mushroom soup, mushroom noodles, like thick mushroom sauce. It's very healthy and very mild. Parang lugao. Wow, this is a palabok, guys. I'm afraid what this palabok is gonna taste like now. But honestly, the, really the vibe of this place is parang really a home. Like parang karinderia talaga, but like really a house. Mm. This one tastes like what I ate as a three-year-old or two. It's very basic, the flavor. I feel like this is the nature of palabok where it's really like it just melts in your mouth. You can just eat it without chewing. Actually, this is good. Guess what's my favorite based on my reaction, guys. <laughs> this one tastes like the palabok we know, but it's a bit lighter. So I actually prefer it than the normal palabok. Everything, it tastes like very healthy. It tastes very healthy in a way that it doesn't taste like oil. It's not greasy. I think that's why I'm getting shocked. Because usually like I'm imagining a very oily flavor with this kind of dish. But when I try it, it's like totally opposite. So I just get shocked like... And it also reminds me of how strong the flavors of the normal food we eat also. You guys, it's a... Uh, it's raining Aww. and I'm looking for the best lechon place in the world and actually this is a lechon place! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god guys, this looks like an OG lechon place. Wow! This is where they hang all the pigs. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Guys, I think it's the last two lechon left. I think we need to go to this place. Let's wait in the parking area. Hello, Bo. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you come here a lot, Bo? Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, Kasi I'm looking for pinaka masarap na pagkain dito sa La Loma. This one. The this ping one? ping lechon. This one? Ah, ping ping lechon. It's a good one. If lechon. You will think so. Kasi La Loma is famous for lechon. Is this the best lechon talaga sa La Loma? Yes. Yes? Yeah, yeah. Ilang beses kayo makupunta doon? Every month, twice. Every month, twice you come yeah, here? Yeah. What makes it different from ibang ibang lechon? It's a native lechon. Tastes like a Cebu lechon. The price is right Sakto for lang. the taste. Yeah, mm, Sakto, okay. Yeah. So, I should just order lechon lang here. Short order, one port, and taste it. So, we found this place on a heavy rain, and they say this is the best lechon that you can get in La Loma. Is this the best lechon talaga sa La Loma? Yes. Yes? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try the lechon first. This is always everyone's favorite part, diba? Right? And it's actually crispy. Because, you know, bad lechon is when this is not crispy and it's became too hard that like you can't even chew it, you know the type. So for me, lechon is a either a hit or miss in a way that if you eat it in a good place, it's really good. But if it's old na, it, for me, it just smells. Yeah, and if you don't get the right part, you only get the fat. But this one, I'm seeing that they distributed really the, the meat, the protein, and then the skin. So that's already good with the skin and then the meat. And then I'm gonna dip it in the gravy sauce. Wow, this lechon is really good. It's really good. Because the reason why lechon is a hit or miss again is because sometimes it smells. I don't know if you guys know, but sometimes lechon really, it really smells like pig, like unpleasant smell. And I'm very sensitive about smell in food. Zero, zero smell. It's perfect. Look how crispy. When it breaks like this, it's really a good lechon. And then the flavor of the lechon is really good too. It's not salty at all again. Because usually again, some lechon is like a bit oily and like... And then this gravy sauce. 
Very, very sweet actually. It's like they added sugar and gravy sauce vibe. Goes well. But I prefer the normal one that's not too sweet. Still really good. I've tried lechon in Cebu guys, right? It's even better than the one I had in Cebu. This place is really good. I want to bring my dad here because my dad's favorite Filipino food is actually lechon. I love how they give like enough skin. Best part, best part. This is really good. It's perfect. It's my kind of food. This one is really all meat. Look at it. This is really good. And the lechon is not salty at all but I don't eat rice. I can really just have this as a pulutan. Ah yeah, everyone's eating with beer. <laughs> I find like the vibe of this place is really like a tambayan place because there's this like a horse racing playing. All the titos, all the tatais come here and drink and eat lechon. Confession, it's my first time trying this. I never tried this in my life because it looks a bit intimidating. Which part of the pork is this exactly? I'm okay with isao but... <laughs> Because it's fried food, diba? Right? It's like oil, very very oily. But I get why people eat it. It's like a typical puluta. But this is... I think I'm gonna food panda this place. I wonder how many baboys they have to kill for this. How long were you living here? Since 1990. 1990? Dito sa Laloma po? Kasi we're looking for masarap ng pagkain dito sa Laloma. Yeah, dito sa Laloma. Yes po! Ping ping ni Chon. Ping ping, oh, tapos na. Anong you know your restaurant only? Any, any, any. Kahit anong pagkain. There in the retiro, ma'am. Putubunggong. Put wow. It's really good there. Oh, so let's go to And then yes. putubunggong. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I have to get one lang. Ano po yung pangalan nyo? Putubunggong. Wala siyang pangalan ni. Pero that's the best putubunggong, ate. Best naman yun. Very good? Very good eh. Kasi siya na lang yung nag-iisang putubunggong. Okay, so the rain has stopped and we're going to find more food. Guys, since it just like rain, I have to go to Batangas for some lomi and bulalo. So I really see a lot of pares and lechon place around this place, guys. Welcome to La Loma, lechon capital of the Philippines. Oh, that's the puto bumbong! Can I have the regular puto bumbong po? Isara. the puto bumbong that we all know of. Yeah, I guess she said, right? Because this is the only place where they sell puto bumbong and bibingka. That's why. Does it feel like Christmas? <laughs> Just to feel Christmas. Mm. Honestly though, there's nothing special. Well made puto bumbong. I know some of you like the puto bumbong with like the cheese on top. I don't like the puto bumbong with the cheese on top. I like it like this, plain. We should do Christmas food when it's Christmas. What are you eating? Kuya, can I make video myself for eating? Oh, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Guys, so this is a place with a very fast circulation. They serve very fast. Like once you say it, they serve right away. Okay guys, for the first time in our paborito, we got kicked out of the restaurant! 
god! <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's true, Kasi. It's true yeah. that we're ruining the mood by filming. Yeah. That's why we always ask permission, okay. right? And if they complain, usually, yeah, we say yeah, sorry we say and sorry okay, again. we'll move, we'll move. But if it if that wasn't enough, then better that we just go out. Guys, it's okay, yeah, it's okay. So next time, I ask for us. Next time, when there's someone who's being like that, just say sorry, we'll go out. That's what we say, okay? Next time, don't even use your energy, your precious energy with just, okay, we're leaving. But this is a good experience, I guess, to have. Oh, but that's a bit hurtful, huh? We're Filipinos, so Korean cannot eat there. Alright guys, so my favorito of the day is... Ping Ping! Lechon! Native Lechon! Guys, it was one of the best lechon I had in a while. So I just had to. I just knew it the moment I tasted that. Okay, this one. So I'm so happy that I found a great lechon place. Actually, all the restaurants that we went to, it's a restaurant with very long history. The first one, like 30 years. This one, like 40 plus years. And then probably the is also long. Yeah, I'm so glad that we got to review places with some history, with an actual tradition. Something a bit sayang though, right? The last place, I wasn't really able to really evaluate the food because we had to leave. I guess that whole situation is a lesson for our team and also for me as well, you know, filming Paborito, I guess, because we also don't want to really make others feel uncomfortable, but we also don't want to go to a place where we're not welcomed as well. So, sayang, but still, I'm happy I found a great Lechon place. You guys should try it here as well. And please keep the recommendations coming, guys. Where should I go? Any province as well? So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And I'll see you guys next one.